Today I'm making bizcochitos for Christmas. I'm going to cut my orange and get my real orange juice. Here's my measuring cup. I don't get any of the grain from the inside of the orange. Okay, now I'm going to measure one cup of lard and one cup of shortening. In a regular cup, my mother used to measure in, in, in a regular cup, and it went on to, to go that that was the measure. It used to be in the ears before it was all, all lard, but for health practice, we have turned it to one lard and one shortening because lard is heavy. Then we mix the two, shortening and lard, that it's very soft and easy to handle. I like to use my hand because it becomes a little softer and do not so have a hard time with the rest of the ingredients. Now we add the sugar, the cup of sugar to the shortening. And now we can mix it with a spoon. The secret is the sugar and the shortening have to be uh, well, well, well mixed together. It's going to make the cookie lighter and for quicker uh, baking. One at a time, mixing after each egg. And it softens the sugar, becomes lighter. The next thing is the orange juice. Then when the uh, juice is pretty well mixed into the, into the lard mix, then I do a dash of salt, just very little. Mix again. Now I add the anise seeds. Now we add also one teaspoon of vanilla. Incorporate it all in the, in the mix. I add six to seven cups of flour and I combine three teaspoons of baking powder with my flour. Now this goes into this mixture a little bit at a time. The very first time I made these cookies with my mom, I was like eight or nine years old. Now all my daughters and my granddaughters, they can all make them now because they have watched me and They've learned the recipe well. When the dough is to a consistency of spreading, then you start making the, the cookies. And I'm using my mother's rolling pin. It is very old, but it's helped me with all my rolling tortillas and these bizcochitos. Use whatever cookie cutter you want. This is my favorite. You put your cookie on top of the cinnamon sugar. Biscochitos have been a tradition for many, many years. My great-grandmother made them and 
my aunts and my mother, we all learned that that was the traditional cookie for Christmas and weddings. Any special occasion, the biscochito was made. Cookie sheet is full and ready to go in the oven. The oven is at 350 degrees. We have to check them in about 10 minutes and then keep them till they have a full color of a light brown. Mm -hmm. Turned out very good.